What do you do when your soil is like 90% clay? Greetings, out here working in the garden and trying to get some garden beds all prepared so that they'll actually grow some really rocking good plants this year. And one thing I want to talk to you right now about is what do you do when your soil is like 90% clay? This stuff right here is so much clay. It's like, it's like Play-Doh. I mean, when it's a little wetter, you squeeze it and it just keeps its same shape. It's super duper 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 high content of clay. I wanna talk about what we're doing to try to take this high clay situation and make it workable. Well, if it's your first time on the soil, you gotta break it up somehow. You could use a tiller, a plow, a disc, all kinds of different things. Or you could use a broad fork. This broad fork right here, has 14 inch long tines and it works great for get, getting the soil broke up down deep. You just kind of wiggle it like that all the way down and pull her back. See all that? Beautiful. If I pull up a big chunk, usually when it's high clay, I'll go ahead and stab that chunk too just to give me a head start. Then you move over to the other side and repeat. It's kind of fun, really. Well, so you broke ground, literally. You broke the ground into large chunks. Now what do you do? You gotta break those chunks into smaller chunks. There's a lot of ways to do it, but if you're doing it by hand, you can use a pickaxe. It's the pick on one end and a maddox on the other. And you just start working it up. Just breaking everything up. This step is a good opportunity to find rocks. And when you do, to discard them. I usually discard all rocks that are bigger than a golf ball. Here we go. So now you've broken your soil up into pieces that are maybe baseball size. Now where to go from here? And it's right about now I wish the tiller was working. And then later that evening, I got it working. Yahoo! Whew. It's a good workout. Now you can see we've taken this little patch and we've broken it down into nice, manageable soil chunks. Not too bad. In fact, I can definitely work with that. Not too bad at all. What we've done is we've taken it from these large chunks of clay down to something that actually resembles something a plant would love to grow in. But we're not done yet. We gotta add some stuff. Oh, hi there. I'm gonna show you what we did to our soil to give it some more life. Um, first thing what we did is we added peat moss and then some perlite and then some aged goat, guinea, and chicken manure. We've aged this for six to eight months at least. Um, it's stuff from our little homestead here, so that's cool, it's free. And lastly, this is some higher bricks granulated fertilizer. It's organic. And we're just going to incorporate that all into here. And it's going to really make this uh, garden drain well. It's going to give it life and aeration. It's just going to be amazing. So let's do that. 
And in case you're wondering, we only use these amendments in our garden bed areas, not the entire plot. And finally, after all that work, you should be left with some wonderful soil. It's got air in it, it's got life in it. Well, I tell you, a lot of this is soil that we, um, and manure that we dug up from our chicken coop and goat area, and it was just full of worms and full of life. So I'm really excited about how this is going to yield. Um, able to take this hard concrete clay and turn it into this. Pretty cool. Happy gardening.